Yeah, I think, I think that's what's really great is to have the space to be able to talk about ideas and to, you know, have the conversation. And conversation is really critical in the artistic process. So I suppose we acted as a kind of conduit to, you know, looking at the local landscape and seeing what was there. And music generation obviously was a completely perfect fit because the vision that we have is ambitious. And I suppose Carlo can pride itself on the fact that we have had ambitious projects. Well, I suppose for visual uh, programming, Janet Cardiff's the 40 part motet made an awful lot of sense uh, in lots of different ways. Uh, the gallery, the main gallery here was built for large scale sculpture um, and the motet um, is this enormous piece of sound sculpture. So this was, a, a, I suppose, a new thing for us to do, to bring sound, to introduce sound into the gallery. Um, and it worked just absolutely fantastically. Yeah, and we were really excited to, well, for, first of all, to hear that the piece was coming because it is such a, a great piece. And then to have the time and the space to think about what could actually be achieved around that and um, to think about the best people to work um, with within our team and who might we might, might we like to bring on board and we thought that a composition project based around and inspired by the piece would work really well mm. with um, in a, a teenage group and that teenage group we thought of was that was the TY group in Boris mm. um, who you know, really embraced the project and the staff and the principal down in Bars Vocational School absolutely were so excited about it and really came online with our ambition. Uh, it certainly has raised the profile of music in our school. The profile of music in our school has been rising for the last number of years, but this year in particular, uh, you know, you're almost fighting people away from the choir. You know, we have almost 100 students that are interested in becoming part, in part of the choir. We have three choirs in the school now due no small part to music generation. Uh, we, we are studying 20th century composition, which really this is, we're working with a, a, a living composer to compose a piece of music. That's completely different to anything they've done in music class. If you study Beethoven, Mozart, any of the masters, the music in some respects is historical, where they're actually in the process of recording it now. That's really, really important to them. They're living the, comp the composition and the composer is with them. So that whole process now is coming alive on a page rather than listening to the, the, um, the result of the process. That's the difference I'm seeing in them. And that's, the, that's what's kind of unique for me as a teacher. That's a unique approach I would never have taken with them um, because the opportunity didn't present itself. Well, I was initially approached by Paula Phelan of Music Generation Carlo. Um, and when she mentioned that this was in relation to the Cardiff piece, the 40 part motet, I was immediately intrigued because I love the original piece that kind of led to the installation that's now in visual in Carlo. Um, Thomas Tallis' Spam and Allium, it's like one of the most beautiful pieces ever made, I think, and it's one of my favorite pieces. Um, so I felt it was almost like a sign that I should take part in this. And also I think um, I'm from a, a quite a rural place myself, Kinsale, the old head of Kinsale in Cork. And I think I remember back to being that age of kind of 15 and 16 and loving music and getting interested in composing and and I it, when I think back to those days I would have loved to have someone come in and work with me on a piece of music so kind of um, it's been really rewarding in that way to see the project come alive from initial idea to, to where it is now. Well it sounded good just composing your own music and um, the classical side of it was good as well because I'd never really done anything like that. We would have never kind of came across an opportunity like this before and then uh, uh, our teacher, Mr. Thomas, was saying that this, this project was available, so we just kind of dived in at it. I thought that it would be an interesting experience just to learn how to compose or how to start, how to compose. And it was with Linda, anyway, it was very, um, it was amazing, really, because she takes she takes such kind of faint or vague ideas and, and you know, I mean, makes them into these into into the into the piece we're doing at the moment. You know, kind of small ideas you might have niggling in your head. She's able to put that, put that into music. You know. It's really cool because I never composed anything myself and it's really like exciting. The piece is called Speranza, uh, which means hope in Italian, and it's a four-part choral piece. So it's with sopranos, altos, uh, basses, 
um, and it's all about the theme of hope, um, which is very much kind of tied in with the original Talus Latin text, which is all about hope as well. Um, and there's lots of different melody ideas in there, lots of different harmony ideas. Um, and the lovely thing about it is that the students wrote the text themselves and then we translated it into Italian. Um, so it's very much everything is from them really, which is the way we kind of wanted to work at the beginning. Um, and that they feel really invested in it and they feel really a part of it. Um, and also um, it's looking at things like canon and music where you have all these lines weaving into each other, which is such a beautiful thing that you see in the original piece as well. So I think they were very inspired by that. I know that when we were 40 minutes into this programme, Aideen, uh, Aideen Byrne had a group of students, a group of 24 students, and inside 40 minutes she had students, some of whom who had never been uh, involved in a choir before, she had them singing three-part harmony. I knew we were in for something special. I just cannot wait to see the performance uh, of this piece. to believe when you listen back to it and you're thinking wow we made this this was ours we like helped make this you see your name down the bottom you're kind of like you know I, I did this 